Hey guys, it's Erin from the Foothills Branch Library. Today I'm going to go through our latest take and make craft with you. This week it is Shrinky Dinks. Be sure to stop at any of the four locations to pick up your kit to do this fun creative craft. Shrinky Dinks is a plastic that you get to color on any way you want with any design you want and then you're going to stick it in your oven and it's going to shrink down in size. So you can make a lanyard piece, a decorative piece, a keychain, all kinds of fun stuff. In your kit you are going to find your piece of plastic going to be about half the size of a regular sheet of paper. You'll also find either a lanyard hook or a keychain hook. Either one, one or the other will be in your bag. You will need some supplies at home including scissors, tape, and some kind of non-water based marker. So permanent markers will work, acrylic paints will work, um, painters paint markers, pretty much anything that is not a watercolor. So you want something that's a little more permanent. Um, also do not use crayons. Also, if you're gonna want to hang this on one of your hooks, you may need a hole punch um, or some way to make a hole. Just remember, if you're gonna make a hole with your scissors or anything else that's not a hole punch, that you make it bigger than you think it's going to be because holes shrink, um, the same as the rest of your shrinky tank. Uh, to design and create whatever you would like, you are welcome to freehand draw whatever you would like. Just remember to make it bigger because it is going to shrink down. Uh, you can also do a template, which is what I'm going to do today because I'm not an amazing freehand drawer. So I went online and found this really fun template because it's Halloween and I happen to love Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to create a shrinky dink using this template here. So what you wanna do is make sure you take your plastic and put it over or draw whatever you would like. So in my case, I made my template just as big as this plastic sheet. And I'm going to tape my plastic onto the piece of paper so it doesn't move as I trace over it. I'm gonna go ahead and trace and color my design here. And then we'll get moving on shrinking. All right, guys, so I have finished coloring my shrinky dink to give you an idea of what it looks like. It is right there, so you see I've got my colors and all that fun stuff. I have also cut my shape out so that it's not quite square. It's got some rounded edges to it. I have added my hole at the top because I do want this to hang. Now, once you are ready to start baking and shrinking down your image, you wanna go to an oven or a toaster oven and set it to 325. Go ahead and let it preheat. Once it is preheated, go ahead and line your baking sheet or your tray with parchment paper or foil. You're then gonna put your image on with the color side up. And we are going to go ahead and put it in our toaster oven here at the library. And we're gonna watch my image shrink down. You ready? Here we go. So we do have our toaster oven here. It is preheated to 325. I'm gonna go ahead and take my tray with my shrinky dink image on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Now, it should only take from one to three minutes to shrink down the image once it's inside. So, fingers crossed and here we go. So we are done shrinking my shrinky dink and here is the final product. So as you can see, it did shrink down quite a bit. There is the original. So you can see how big it was and how much smaller it got. Now, a couple things to note is because I did such a large piece, as you can see in the video, it did start to fold in on itself. You can, while it is warm, um, take it out and kind of unfold it. It did go down and it flattened itself out. But please, please, please do this only all with a, um, an adult's help. Um, these are very, very hot. I don't want you to get burned. Um, if you don't like how your shrinky dink, the um, way that it folded in on itself or anything like that, or mine, for example, was not on a flat tray, so it's not flat, you can stick them back in the oven at 325 and reflatten or reshape. That's kind of the nice thing about this is they're really hard to screw up. But again, please only do this with adult supervision and help. Um, it does get very, very hot. But, and also as you can see, my hole did shrink as well. But now you've got a fun, cool, unique little piece of art that you can take around with you. Um, 
and enjoy. I hope you guys have fun with this take and make craft and we'll see you later. Bye.